Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today enjoying some nice spring weather here up on the roof of my apartment complex. Thought I'd stand up here. It's a little bit windy uh, so bear with that uh, but um, hopefully it'll be fine. So today it's the first day where there's really proper weather to stand outside and shoot a review so I thought I'd do that. Uh, it's the day after Easter and you're gonna get a bonus Easter themed beer. So this guy's is a beer that was given to me by my friend Mess, who owns uh, Fermentorn Authors, the Fermenter Authors, or he's one of the owners, and he gave this to me uh, when I was down there this weekend for their one year uh, anniversary. For It's a bar, a beer bar. And this is the Echtschlenkala Rauchbier Fastenbier. Now this beer is uh, actually the highest rated smoked beer in the world, and it's made especially for Lent. It's also called Lent beer, it's called Fasting beer, and they make it especially for Lent. Uh, I think it's released uh, from Ash Wednesday and then throughout Easter. Basically, it's quite different from their normal uh, smoke beers because, first of all, it doesn't only have uh, smoke uh, malt, it also has lighter unsmoked malts. They use, of course, the traditional Bamberg smoke malt in there as well, and then it's also unfiltered. So, in an unfiltered Rauchbier. And the cool thing is also that this is the first time they ever bottled it. They bottled it for the first time in 2015. Before that, or prior to that, it was usually only released in either wooden kegs or released uh, at the brewery. Uh, I also think they do regular kegs of it, but before that it's never been in bottles, so that's really cool. It's rare you see the unfiltered lagers or smoke beers, because this is a lager. And what they do is they brew it and then they leave it to uh, lager in uh, their cellars under the brewery for two months. So yeah, this looks really nice. I also get to use my Lobos mug. Again, a glass I don't use very often. So, I can smell the meaty smoke already. Oh yeah, it's, I think I'd actually poured the yeast in too, but... There you have it. It looks a lot like the Rauchbier Märzen, but you definitely see that it's unfiltered, because it's got a very hazy look to the beer. And uh, yeah, I did get all the yeast in there. But a very hazy, dark brown mahogany color. A nice kind of two-finger... Uh, yeah, beige head. It looks really nice in the glass, and I can like smell these smoky aromas already, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, dead on Schlenkala uh, smoke malt aroma, but also caramel tones. I'm getting a lot of uh, bacony, sausage, smoke malt, that uh, uh, really meaty smoke aroma. Oh, it smells really nice. Um, caramel, toffee tones, a slight hop bite to it as well, like a noble hop halatau type of aroma. But mostly you get the smoky sausage, uh, campfire notes, uh, woody uh, aroma to it as well. Oh, that smells really nice. Quite complex as well. And I love that it's unfiltered too, but... Smoky, meaty campfire, caramel toffee as I said. Almost like a burnt caramel. Mmm. Uh, smoky ham. Definitely the meaty smoke with some of the campfire type of components. And 5.5% by the way guys, so... Uh, yeah, it smells really nice. Let's try the highest rated Schlenkerle beer, actually, and the highest Rauch beer, rated Rauch beer in the world. This should be interesting. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys, and thanks a bunch to Mess for the beer. Wow, that's really nice. That's a really interesting mix of like more traditional, like uh, darker lager flavors, but with a kick of smoke. It's not as hefty on the smoke as like the Märzen or the Urbach, which are really hefty smoke bombs. Mm. Wow, I, I, you, usually smoke beers aren't really refreshing. This is super refreshing. The flavors in there are definitely the smoky malt. You get the traditional Schlenkerla smoke flavor with the smoked ham, cured sausage, or smoked sausage, a bacony smoke flavor, meaty smoke. Um, campfire, woodsy campfire notes, uh, really nice. But then you get a good kick of fresh, bitter hop flavor to it, and it's got like a nice crisp uh, mouthfeel as well. Mmm, really damn nice. Uh, yeah, it, it has a noble hop type flavor that kind of slight like peppery, um, generic, grassy. Well, maybe not generic, but grassy noble hop flavor. Um, which makes it quite refreshing with a good kick of bitterness as well on the back end. 
And then you also get some of that kind of caramel, burnt caramel, toffee, uh, some bready notes as well. Very complex for a 5.5% beer. Just dead on with the lager type smoke, Rauch beer style, but then a kick of refreshing flavors. Actually, perfect springtime beer. It would go very well with foods like meats and stuff, uh, barbecue, much more so than the Märzen, I think, in Urbach, just because it has that kick of fresh hop flavor and a lighter malt body that makes it a little more drinkable because I think the Märzen in Urbach with barbecue can be too much meat. But this is damn good. I think this is up there for me with their Urbach, which is uh, my favorite. But this is a great smoke beer. This is really good. Um, definitely see this for spring and, and Easter type settings. And really cool that they finally decided to bottle this. So, uh, rating wise for the Eisling Kala Rauchbier Fastenbier. I'm gonna go 94. It's really damn good. 100% dead on for a lager type beer. One of the more flavorsome, complex smoke beers I've had without, I mean, it's 5.5%. Really good stuff. So if you can still get the Echlenkerner Rauchbier Fastenbier, check it out. Because previously, you could only get it on tap. Now in bottles, get it. Uh, possibly the best Schlenkerner beer I've had, closely followed by the Urbach. So awesome stuff, guys. Definitely let me know what you think of the Fastenbier by Echlenkerner if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Also, a big thanks to Mass for giving me this model. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna say cheers. And hopefully, you can hear me in this windy review. And see you guys in another beer review.